because this is a tight road. We gotta check out those limb risers. Let's see. Let's take a peek, see, make sure they work good. Oh, I can't turn this. Hold on one second. Let's see here. Pop off. Let's check out those limb risers, make sure they're working good. Oh, yeah, I just pushed that stuff right out of the way. Back on here. right up to the top right past everything that is great that's what the last time i smacked it the big branch about the size of my arm hit the corner of the uh of the rooftop 10 i wasn't going fast i don't i don't i don't fly through the trails i take my sweet time and keep my eyes open and see if i can find a uh, bigfoot information about Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Find him, 
Should it be take pictures and everything? Yeah, but he's not like in the movie. Not in the movies. Are you talking about the Harry and the Hendersons? tree in the process what? <laughs> you took down another tree in the process of doing that uh -huh. <laughs> I want to find big big foot there's muggly e. right, okay we're going at it again to get the rest of it opinion on what dad's doing today we're hunting is no what's your opinion on what dad's doing um he's i don't know what he's doing but he's trying to move on a big tree big tree tree <laughs> tree because bigfoot knocked it down that went always he went no woodchuck did that <laughs> a woodchuck did it <laughs> a woodchuck Wood chuck, wood chuck, wood. Wood chuck, wood chuck, wood. How much wood? Wood chuck, chuck, wood. Wood chuck, wood chuck, wood. 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 Wood
like suspension wise or anything like that but i got some other things that i have in the, you know maybe in the future it'd be something cool to do so here it is here this is the, the rear end of it with the whole the first draw right there is the kitchen setup storage area the uh, dometic refrigerator and that's on a draw slide that i made I just pull out it has a little tilt thing it tilts like that decent size i mean i didn't go with the dual zone one the big one because i honestly i really don't need anything like that oh, there's some rocks inside of it <laughs> no wonder why i would just shut sorry about that but we'll figure that out later so yeah, that's it. I just used the uh, piano hinge, screwed down to this, had tilt, built the slides myself, everything, Harbor Freight, uh, had those. Um, this is just a draw, just for camping stuff. These lights right here are phenomenal. They are super bright, solar powered. There's a light there and then you unscrew, and they're real bright. I'm gonna do a review on them, a, a video on their own because that's how good they are. Uh, the the power source we got going here is the um, Blue Yeti. Uh, I think this is what the, um, the 500 watt one. This this thing literally refrigerator has been going since I left the house. I mean this is a close run. Yesterday we were at uh, Ricketts Glen. Um, I do have it running off the 12 volt in the back of the truck while we're driving. It charges it, uh, keeps it topped off. So pretty much the truck itself is keeping the refrigerator going. And then once I disconnected it, um, this there's a battery inside this and keeps the refrigerator going. I already did it for like two days worth and I used maybe, I think it was down to 20%, I wanna say. And I had food in there and hot dogs and the works. It was no complaints at all. It ran the, this is the uh, smaller Dometic refrigerator, the smallest one they have. So, I mean, it, I mean, it's not a dual zone. It's just a single, single you know, one option. Not one. Well, technically one option, depending on. It's a, it's a two option one, but I don't want to turn the whole thing into a freezer, so I keep it at refrigerator temperature because that's all I really use. But um, this fan here is like I got this off of Amazon. It's like twenty bucks. It's great. It oscillates and everything. It runs off of USB. Uh, this is just a tool draw here. Just your hand tools, stuff for the truck. The bug spray because it doesn't fit in there. But other than that, a little broom to sweep things out. I have a, a power uh, impact drill just for this truck. Tie down stuff for winter time. Axe stuff. Uh, there's a bottom door underneath all this. I don't use it anymore. It was just winter stuff. Even before all this stuff was in there, there's absolutely no room for it. Uh, just dirty shirt if I have to get underneath the truck. Some extra wires for the rooftop tent. Collapsible seat that I always leave in here just in case. My fishing bag. The annex is in there. That folds out into the kitchen. That's some stuff for like hot dogs and s'more stuff. And the poles for the uh, the uh, the uh, for the door windows and stuff for the rooftop tent. I'm not gonna set that up today. There's, I don't really need to. Hammock, some sleeping bags. There's a big sleeper bed, sleeping bag in here. A little stretchy net thing. I, there's a new net I'm going to show you in a minute, but it is awesome that I want to get another one for back here. But that's just the rear end of it. I mean, when this does pull out the kitchen part of it, it this this collapses down. This is like a whole sink thing in here. In my uh, in this drawer, there's like a whole you know a big jug of water here with a little spout thing, and you know. Does the whole border thing for me like a kitchen setup and everything have not got the chance to use it yet we're supposed to go camping things change then couldn't go camping and then we wound up staying at my friend's house for a little over the weekend took some pictures and stuff for that uh our communications i'm using i have um on amazon there's a package called like the farms farm something midland thing uh, it comes with two walkie talkies and the main radio on the truck. So I pretty much the truck is like kind of like headquarters Home base kind of thing or castle kind of thing going on and then each kid will get one of these I need to get another set of these and then you know Everybody will have one of these on them because I can communicate to all four radios Out of the truck. So somebody's always with the truck and everything 
So that's that's our communication wise for the rear end. It's tied down, doesn't go anywhere. I went off the off-roading trail and everything. Nothing fell out of it. So and then when we're not really going camping everything, the dog kind of just hangs out right in here. That's why the fan is back here, because yesterday I had a fan going to keep everything down. She has her own zone air conditioner back here that I turn on for and everything. So yeah, she just I throw a little sleeping bag down there. Sometimes it gets a little cold for it. But this is our what you call it, our canopy thing that comes out. Awning kind of thing. It's just one awning. It's okay. It was on the cheap side. Um, I got that. I got this first before the tent. I had a different rack and everything. Eh, I kind of wish I didn't buy it. I should have bought something else. But, I mean, it does come out. It does give us shade if we need it for this side. It's kind of a uh, a pain to hook up because you got to slide the, the one part into it and you have to bolt it on. I mean, if you lose it, if you're out in the middle of the woods, you drop the bolt and you can't find it. I mean, it does come with extra ones, but that's kind of annoying. But uh, truck's kind of dirty from yesterday and everything. But this net right here has like a big zipper in the front of it. I think it's on the other side. It clips up to your uh, your Opu handles, and then you can have storage up here uh, and then storage down here. Um, it is great. Like I put the kid, the baby wipes and everything right here. Just grab them, change your kind of thing. Uh, there's a couple other things I wanted I wanted something so I could just stack the pillows on one side here one side on the other side get the pillows off the ground kind of thing I put this up for the dog so the dog doesn't cause she kept hopping over and hopping over so plus it acts like a things that we hook things onto and everything but I got the um, American Sniper Chris Kyle car seats excellent I had them for a long time um, they had the Molly molly grip first so if you're ever if you're ever with me and you're in the and you're in with me and driving around or whatever there's always a first aid kit and and there's first aid kit and puke bags on the side of the truck just in case because one of my kids like to get uh car sick but uh can you guys get out can you get out of the truck yeah on this passenger side door always have an umbrella there First aid kit, just a boo-boo kit kind of thing, and um, uh, extra uh, ponchos just in case. Uh, I normally have that up in the window, uh, uh, suction cup there, but it, it keeps falling down on me. But uh, that's that's the passenger side of it, everything. So going back up to the top again, sorry we're all over the place, but I just put this in the other day, the limb risers. Clearly, they're working great. I pushed everything over. Kind of hit the antenna here, but it gives it enough flex. I mean, that's really far, but worked out great. We'll still have more storage up front kind of thing. But that's the front end part of it. Um... These, the, the lights on the truck are just, uh, I found them on Amazon. I think there's the two front ones and the top one. Um, and then there's the four. I got the four side, the two, one on each side and two in the rear kind of thing. But I don't have any off-road suspension. It's stock. Um, I did do the, uh, the general uh, grabber tires. Honestly, I had these tires before I did all this to it and everything. I want to say it had maybe like two uh three about two years now and they're getting there i mean they're getting down to it but they they i had no problems with them at all hold on one second all right sorry about that but now in the driver's seat part of it um i have my cb here that i'm doing uh this is just like you know all the accessory stuff my tablet I can bend it over the kids can watch a movie on it especially the little one that sits in the, in the middle because she gets kind of like I had enough of this let's get going home I want to watch Bluey um, and then I have up here is my uh, Samsung um, uh, what you call it my Samsung 10 inch tablet for GPS and I overlanding apps and Gaia and all that um, and then the radio I have here is the Hello, sir. I am now 
now charging your tablet. Is the uh, the Midwin? Um, I forget what brand it is, but it's, it's on Amazon. The, the farm thing. It's called like farm package or something like that. Um, that this is pretty much like it tells me the weather and everything and all that. Extra USB there, and then it. Uh, I can communicate all to the other radios. Any GM, excuse me, any GMRS, uh, other other um, radios I can talk to. So pretty much the kids have one. Want to get two more, so the wife and and the little one will have one too. So somebody's out and about, you know, like you're, you know, 15 miles across. You know, it says, but you know how that is. This is just for my cell phone cell phone mount. These mount, I don't know the name of it, but this one is screwed in, and these, these are excellent. This one is like on a, one of those poles that you, you, you can bend and everything. First set it up, it was kind of like, eh. It kept wiggling and kept moving around, and at one point it did like flop over on me. But I wind up upgrading the screws to a lot better quality, and now it doesn't move anywhere, and it's been really good. But... Um, you know, just a GoPro mount there and everything. That's that's pretty much it. That's 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 my rig right there. That's what uh we've been doing so far. I want to get into more camping, definitely more camping and going from there. But that's what we run. That's really it. I mean, we're we're still hunting for Bigfoot. I mean, we went out here today to look for Bigfoot. Hopefully, we'll catch him. I'll take some pictures and post them up so everybody sees him. So, what do you think? Did you find Bigfoot yet? Not really? No. No? No, no Bigfoot? No. You had a couple guys over there hanging out by the fire over there talking and everything. Good spot, but uh, kind of on the dirty side. Some people just don't really care. But, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful over here. It's a local spot. I didn't know about it. An older gentleman told me about it. But, I mean, absolutely gorgeous. But, I mean, there's a couple people out here. But uh, absolutely beautiful. This is a really good good spot here. Nice, it's a nice spot to camp right here. You get the whole the whole lake and everything. Awesome. We were trying to go down to the trail over here. I wanted to see how far it goes down and everything. And there was a tree in the road. I tried to, you know, clearing it, moving it out of my way, and it really didn't work out. I don't have a chainsaw. And I heard people over here. I thought my my the person who told me that was up here he i knew he had a chainsaw on the back of his uh side by side and he wasn't here so i gotta let him know next time he's up here to uh you know clear that clear that trail out and I, i'm that's another thing i'm gonna have to do i'm definitely gonna have to uh pick up a train so but some wild fish over here definitely gotta go fishing over here but i mean that's it that's that's the rig right there that's it. That's what I'm using. Nissan Armada 06. I mean, there is some couple, you know, rough spots there. I mean, it's an 06. I mean, you can see him right in the fender well. But it's our fun truck. It's our adventure truck. That's really it. Hopefully, maybe soon we can get the wife. I want to get the wife the uh, Nissan Xterra. So we have two rigs going. Just in case. But other than that, I hope this... Uh, inspires people to get out there and get lost go on adventures with your kids get them out there um over that weekend thing when we when we were we were at my buddy's um i mean at her her house or um oh what you call it uh i had the refrigerator going the whole the whole two days and my daughter's feeding machine she's on a feeding machine that i have to keep going and you know keep it charged and everything and the, the, the machine itself has like a uh you know, it lasts for eight hours, but I want—I always like to keep it topped off and everything, make sure it's good to go. I, that I had no problem with it. I have the uh, solar panels; they're at home. I didn't bring them with me, but they're like 120 watts and everything. It kept everything topped off and everything. I only used 20% the whole weekend, so it was literally like in her uh, orchard area. We were parked, and we were just hanging out, bonfire the whole thing. Um, I think it's just some, uh, I might add a video on here with a flamethrower kind of thing. I don't know, YouTube with their algorithm, not their algorithm, but their sensor stuff. There's certain things you can post and certain things you can't. So, yeah, there was there is a video of me with the flow, uh, you know, 
flamethrower and everything. So if you can think of a flamethrower, you know, all that, me shooting it in the air, shooting at the fire kind of thing. But yeah, but that's my rig and uh, have a good one. Make sure you get out there and get lost. Later.
won't get off though. <laughs> he's getting right. Look at him. He's crawling across the way from there. <laughs> you better figure it out soon though. The cicada is on my wiper blade. It's up here, Mom. <laughs> he's stuck in there. Oh, there he is. He's like right, right, Wait, is he in there right, right there. He's right there. See him? See him? <laughs> he's outside. He's taking a ride. He wants to go on adventure with us. He wants to go look for Victor. Maybe he's telling us not to do that. Don't go look for things. Uh, do you want me to shut the window? And then shut. Oh, shut. Oh, wait. Really our next adventure what are we gonna do uh, what do you guys want to do uh, could, like maybe next time when we go back to Ricketts Glen I don't know if we're going to but could we go down that trail that we were gonna go down to or do that crazy one just me yeah and I think it's gonna be uh, yeah me and you have to do that I think it's a little advanced for Molly and Spino and Skylar just a little too much for them. No, no mom, mom could mom definitely do it. it, but I think it's just a little too much for them. Maybe on mom's next day off. What? I said maybe on mom's. Maybe, no, there's a couple things you gotta get though. You, you gotta get um. Hiking shoes. Yeah, more better hiking shoes. That's that's no doubt about that. Everyone needs them. The yeah, definitely. Hiking shoes. Oh, and you need to get your own like hydration pack. What's that? Your own little like water water bottle pack thing. Oh. That's what you what? need. He still wanna hang on, Dad? He's still hanging on. Yeah, yeah, he's still there. I think he's stuck actually, because he's been there in the same position for like oh. a while. A while. No, he just Hey look at a car. Hey, look at a car. trip did a little uh, rig walk around today brought the head Yay. home so have fun thanks for taking a ride with us and like subscribe <laughs> like subscribe and what else and, and comment and Instagram. comment below if you ever seen bigfoot that would be awesome or comment anything just comment say pictures hello. from our adventure today are on instagram by the way yes they'll be on our instagram have a good one ooh, 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 ooh.